Hey friends, welcome back to another advent calendar video. My name is Emma Lefebvre and today we are on day 20 of our advent calendar series. Today we're going to keep it warm by painting some really cute mittens. Please, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single video this month. So let's jump in and get started. Okay friends, today we are going to be painting a cute pair of warm mittens. So I have my Arches Cold Press watercolor paper here, and I have my Winsor Newton Professional watercolors, my brushes in a size 6 and 2 round, a pencil and an eraser, water, paper towel, and we're ready to go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is sketch out our mittens. So I want to make this simple and cute, so that's, that's just what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start by painting, painting drawing one. So I'm going to start with this thumb here and they're going to kind of be overlapped a little. So you're going to kind of come up. I'm hoping this looks right. Like that. And then I'm just going to cut it off here and we're going to do the, the rolled up part down below like that. And then I want the other one to be behind it because we're going to create some shadow just to make them look like they're a little bit more 3D. So this one's going to come out kind of on an angle. Like that. And if you wanted to do like a little string attaching them, you totally could. Do I want to make this one a bit more on an angle, kinda, I don't know why, doesn't feel right, but you can kind of play around however you like. So maybe I'll just go like this, oops. Like that, and like that. The way that the mittens are pointing don't necessarily matter. Um, as long as you've got that thumb and then where the fingers go and all that, you should be good. Okay, so there are our mittens. Um, and I am just going to gently erase some of these lines just so it's a bit lighter and we can start. So pick what color you want your mittens to be. What should I do? I feel like maybe, like I love green. I have a nice green pair of mittens, so I think I might go green. Um, so I'm just gonna grab my size six brush, gonna wet up my green. And I'm gonna start by placing a light wash over the back mittens. Do I want, I want it to be a darker green, like a bit more muted. So I'm gonna use my perline green and I'm just gonna go over the back one to start because I want them to be separated so we can see some shadow of the one behind and just some definition. We're gonna do kind of like a crocheted pattern on them. Now, if you wanted to take this to the next level and like, you know, do little patterns on them, please go ahead. But also I wanna just kind of make them as simple as possible. So choose your color, choose if you wanna do a pattern or not, like so. Okay, so there's my lighter or medium kind of wash of green. Now I'm gonna take a darker value and I'm gonna tap it behind where this mitten would be casting a shadow. Okay, so it would be a bit darker behind here. Like so. Okay, and if you feel like your shadow line is a little bit too intense, wash off your brush. Dry it on your paper towel and just kind of Blend it out a little, like so. And then I forgot to do it down here. We can also kind of create a shadow later. I'm gonna grab a little bit more color, like so. Okay, and then you want it to completely dry. Okay, now that that one's dry, we're gonna do the next one. So I want a lighter wash for the ones on top. So we're not gonna go as dark as we did here. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of the bright green, um, but we're not gonna go as dark as we did with the shading on the underside of the mitten here. Oh, a little bit brighter. You really want them to look separated and this one in the front to stand out. You can always add some more shading on it after too. that now I'm gonna grab a bit more of my color and just add a little bit more darkness around the side here like so just to make it look a little bit more 3d I don't know why everything's drying so fast in my office today okay it's all good okay Maybe a little bit more darker over here. Okay, so now we're gonna let that completely dry. Okay, now that it's dry, we can do a cute little like crocheted pattern on it. And we're gonna change up the pattern's values by adding a little bit of white to our green. So if you have some sort of white ink or white gouache, that would work well. Or you can just go, mm, do we wanna add white? Hmm, actually, you know what? I don't want to add white. I'm just going to see how it goes <laughs> otherwise. So I'm going to take my green and I'm just going to do a lighter value on the parts that are lighter in color. And then as we start to do the pattern closer to where there was shadow, I'm going to deepen the value. So I'm going to start off with like a medium value and I'm just going to kind of do this crisscross pattern like so. And then like on the thumb, it's gonna come this way. And then I'm gonna to start to slowly add more color as we go into the deeper area over here. So not yet. Now I'm going to start to deepen it. See how it's a little bit darker? And you can even, just because it's still wet, tap in a little bit more of a darker value there. Like that, see how you can add a little bit of the darkness there and then I'm just gonna grab some of the darker color and just draw a line here just so it's a little bit separated from the folded up part. Like that. And maybe just like a little bit in the crease here. Just adding a little bit of darkness. Like so. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the next one. So lighter on the side. I'm just doing these little marks kind of crossing. Almost like a braid. Still light in value, so not as much paint. Just more water, and I'm using my size two just so I'm not picking up so much paint and water on my brush. 
okay and then as I get over to this side I am gonna start to darken it so I'm gonna add a little bit more color you can even tap where you just did it have it bleed a little bit just slowly kind of build up the shadows on those sides okay and then I'm just gonna create a line here like that and a line on this side okay and then do I want to add any I feel like I want to add like some white stripes or something on the mittens so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my darker value go dark down here especially on the shadowed area right I'm gonna skip a little area and I might do some white in there so I'm gonna make it darker on this side Add a little bit more water to my brush that's a little bit lighter. Just so there's some sort of pattern on this. Okay, and then I'm going to let that dry because I don't want the white to run into it. So I'm going to take my white ink and I'm actually, and you can always use white watercolor too. I take my white ink, I'm going to mix it in a little bit with my, um, Paint's gray, <laughs> just so it's a little bit off-white. And I'm just gonna do some white stripes in between. But I'm gonna make it brighter on the highlighted side, so just white. See how that Payne's gray, act, Payne's gray Mixture acts a little bit like a shadow. You can even. A little bit there. A little bit more here, because this is going to be in a shadow. And then just straight white where there would be more of the lighter highlighted area like that okay there we go totally up to you how do you want to do this if you want to add more patterns anything like that you know what I think it may need a little bit more something so maybe we can just do like white dots on the mittens but like little crocheted patterns so again I'm gonna take that white mixed with the Payne's gray for the more shadowed sides. I'm just gonna spread out some little patterns on that side and then as we get closer to the center obviously we're gonna make it more white. Okay. Just so there's a bit of a pattern or something. <laughs> Poor thing was looking so so sad just still in the same pattern and then I might have to just add a little bit of depth somehow or shadow I feel like these need to be a bit darker you still want them on the bluish side so they look like they're in a shadow Especially in here. I gotta get a bit more. Oh, that's too much blue. Took indigo instead. That's okay. Like that. I'm just trying to make it all sort of spread out evenly. This one definitely has a lot more shadow just because it's behind the others. Now I'm going to take a bit more the stark white there on the, the thumb here. There, so it's a bit brighter. Just for a little bit more something something. 
And I think that looks pretty good. There we go. We have like some sort of pattern on it. Those are cute, but I think the last thing I would do is take just a little bit more. Make sure that this, like the little dots and stuff are dry. And I would take your small brush and then just gently just kind of do like a little bit of a outline behind some of those marks just so these white bits pop out a bit more, you know what I mean? They don't look like they're completely lost in the green crochet pattern, see what I mean? Just give it a little bit of shadow behind it. And even with these, you can even just do... Hope I'm making sense. It's just all in the little details. And there we go. Now I think we're good. Okay, so there are our cute little winter mittens. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single video of this series. Hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys tomorrow.